Hey guys, today's video is long overdue. It's a Malduino setup tutorial. If you don't know what a Malduino is, well, it's an Arduino based bad USB. I'll put a link down in the description or just go to malduino.com to find out more. Also, I would advise you to check the video description for any updates or changes to this tutorial that may happen in the future. So other than that, let's get right to it. So for step one, you are going to need to download the Arduino IDE. I'll have a link to this in the description. Just go ahead and download the installer for your particular OS. However, I would advise against using Linux as it has presented problems for some users in the past. So if you can stick to Windows or Mac. So just download uh, whichever one you need. So I've already installed the Arduino IDE. However, it's just an installation. So it's just clicking continue each time. Just make sure uh, with the admin pop-ups that you do select uh, yes for those. And also to install any drivers that it does prompt you to install. So once you've got it installed, just go ahead and open it up. You should get a page looking like this. So just go to file and preferences. And then where it says additional boards manager URLs, just click on this little checkbox here. And now you're not gonna have anything in here. Um, I've already got a few things installed, hence why I have a couple of things here, that you won't have anything. Uh, so now what you're gonna need to do is paste in this URL here. Again, I'll have it in the description and just click okay and okay on that. And then go to tools and go to board and scroll all the way up to the top where it says boards manager click there and then just let it uh, get a few things and scroll all the way to the bottom and near the bottom somewhere you should see Malduino bad USB boards. So I've already got it installed though uh, you will have a button here that says install so you just need to click that. Once installed you can close this box out, go to tools and board and then scroll down to the bottom somewhere and you should see Malduino boards. Elite, Elite Apple and Light. Now these three things could change in the future. So see the description of the video to see if there's any changes to that. Oh, and by the way, these board files were made by Jlinks. I'll have his GitHub links below. Big shout out to him for making these for us. Okay, so this is where the tutorial diverges for Light and Elite. So I'll have a time code on screen if you want to skip to just the Elite, though I'm gonna cover the Light first. Okay, so for the Light, you're going to need to go to the converter. So I'll have this link in the description, of course, and this will bring you to this page. So what you'll be able to do here is write your scripts, click convert, and it will convert it into code that the Malduino can understand and execute. So I'm just gonna write a very simple script that'll wait a couple of seconds and then type hello world. So to do that, we're going to want to have a delay at the beginning, just to give the computer a couple of seconds to initialize the Malduino. So I'm just gonna put 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. And then I'm going to put string and hello world. Okay, so now I can just tap convert and it'll give me this code. So by default, the Arduino IDE uses US English. So if you're in the US and hence you're using US English, you're free to just highlight all of this code, copy and paste it right into the IDE into a blank file like this. However, if your keyboard layout is different, say you're in the UK or say you're in Spain or wherever, um, you will need to select the keyboard layout at the bottom here. So I'm gonna select English UK, and then I'm gonna put um, a name for a zip file that we're gonna have to download. So I'll just put a uh, uh, test and tap download. Okay, so this will give me a zip file. So what I'm just going to do is extract the whole light folder to somewhere. Okay, so once I've extracted the contents, I can just double click light and it should open it up. So it's very important to download the script if you're using a keyboard language other than US English, because otherwise it will default to US English and you don't want that. So at this stage, you are good to plug in your Malduino light. Just make sure the switch is in the off position. That's closer to the one. And I'm gonna plug that in. Your computer should recognize it. Just give it a couple of seconds here. And then you should be able to go to tools, port, so for me, I would have to select COM3. You may have other COM ports here. If you're not sure which one to select, you can just unplug the Malduino, go to tools, ports, and you see I already have COM1 here, so my Malduino can't be COM1. However, when I plug this in, you will see that COM3 magically appears. So that's the one that my Malduino is. So I'm going to select that. Next, before I upload it, under tools and board, you're going to want to select Malduino Lite. So once I've selected that, I'll just click Tools again to verify that it selected Malduino Lite and it's using the right COM port. And I can just go and hit Upload. So it will say in the bottom here that it's compiling Sketch and it should upload it absolutely fine. 
Okay, so it's uploaded. You'll notice that your Multiwino is flashing red. So unplug it. And to put it into execution mode, because right now it's in program mode, you're going to want to switch it to the on position. And now when we plug it in, it should type, hello world, exclamation mark. So there you go. Uh, that's your Multiwino light all set up. If you want to change the script and maybe uh, put a new one in, just unplug it and switch the switch to the off position. Plug it back in. You are then free to write some new code in the converter, convert, download, and upload your new sketch. So simple as that, really. Do keep in mind that between uploading sketches under tools, the port that your Multiwino is may change. However, it should be more or less obvious which one it is. Okay, so now for the Elite. So you're going to need to go to the converter as well for this. I'll have this linked in the description and make sure you have Elite selected on the right. Now, just go to your keyboard layout. I'm using English UK. Uh, you select whichever one it is you need and tap download. So I'm going to open up this zip and extract and put the Elite folder somewhere. Once the Elite folder is extracted, just double tap the Elite uh, Arduino IDE file and it will open something that looks like this. Okay, so now you're ready to plug in your Malduino Elite. So I'm gonna plug mine in here and then go to tools. And for me, I have to select COM8. It might be different for you in order to find out which COM port you need, just unplug it, check what ports are available and then plug it in. And whichever one appears is of course the one you need. So COM8 for me. And then under board, I'm going to scroll down and select Malduino Elite. So here we also have Malduino Elite Apple because on Mac OS, if you don't plug in a keyboard, that's not uh, an Apple keyboard, it'll ask you to verify it. So if you're going to be running on an Apple Mac, do, do select Apple. There may be other options to this list which are added in the future. So see the description for those. So I'm just gonna select Malduino Elite. And then I'm going to double check on the tools I have selected Malduino Elite. It's very important that we select the right one. And then COM8. And then I'm just going to hit Upload. It's the compiler sketch and upload it. And if it does it all well, you should get done uploading. So now just go ahead and unplug that and put it to the side for a minute. Okay, next you're going to want to get your micro SD card. Here I'm just using a bog standard 4 gigabyte card. I would advise against using the really high-end class 10 cards as those have been known to cause problems. So just use a bog standard cheaper one. I'm going to plug that in using my adapter. Okay, so now you're going to want to format it. So I'm going to right click, go to format. And make sure you've got FAT32 selected, which would be the default, and click Start. Just tap Yes anyhow. And format is complete. Okay, so as you probably already know, you don't have to program the Elite using the Arduino IDE. Each time you want to upload scripts, to upload a script to it, you just put it in the micro SD card. So I'm going to right click here, go to New, and Text Document. And I'm just going to put, um, let's say, 1111.txt, or rather, not with the extension as it's already implied because it's a text document. So um, I've called it 1111 because the name of the file corresponds to how many switches are on or off. So this script will only run when all of the switches are on. If I were to rename it, let's say 1110, then all of the switches would have to be on apart from the last switch, which would have to be off. So you get the idea. You can have up to 16 scripts listed on this thing. So let's just keep it as 1110. So I'm going to open this up. And here I'm just going to have a very simple script like I tested on the light. We're going to have a delay of 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds. And then we're just going to type hello, or rather, hello world. Okay, so now I'm going to save that, Control S and close this out. So now I'm going to unplug my micro SD card and put it into the Elite and make sure I've got 1110 selected on the switches. And I'm going to open up another notepad file here just so you can see when I plug it in, it will type hello world. So when I plug this in, we get hello world. Now, if you wanted to upload more scripts to it, you're of course uh, free to do so. Just plug in the micro SD card again and you can have multiple scripts. So you could have, you could have, um, let's say zero, 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 which would be when all the switches are off. And you can do that for all the different combinations, which are up to 16. Now 
you don't have to program your elite every single time using the Arduino IDE. The only time you would have to do so is if you wanted to change the language. So on my Arduino, I've currently got UK English. Though if I wanted to change that to uh, French or Spanish, I would have to plug it in and flash it again like we did in the beginning, but with the different language file selectors on the online converter. Okay, so thanks for watching guys. If you want to learn more about how to create your own scripts, then I'll put a couple of links down in the description. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to comment if you have any questions, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, follow me on the Twitters and the Instagrams, and as always, stay tuned for more hacking videos.